let's talk about Andrew Yang. Now, I've I've kind of been a pretty pretty uh, like vocal supporter of Andrew Yang. I don't agree with him on everything, but I I very much appreciate the fact that he's bringing universal basic income um, and AI and the tech revolution uh, and um, you know talking about that in terms of capitalism and bringing those topics to basically the front of the stage uh, because I, I listened to his interview on Useful Idiots the other day and he said that he's a Johnny come lately to the idea of universal basic income but you know that's whatever who that's fine I'm glad you're I'm glad you're here right but like I I didn't know about universal I think the first time I started talking about universal basic income was uh, the first time I even heard about that concept was like 2013 the first time I think I talked about it was like 2015, maybe. Um, you know, and I've done several videos about UBI uh, since then, several videos and podcasts about it. But the fact that he's bringing those topics to the mainstream is pretty fucking cool. But uh, I got to say, his his latest, uh, his latest thing about Assange not great um so Andrew Yang was uh, was uh, quickly just kind of asked a question about Julian Assange uh by a gentleman on Twitter and uh he basically said that Assange should stand trial and uh he should uh he should answer for for the crimes that he committed which he didn't commit any crimes he revealed other people's crimes that's what Julian Assange did right and and like we're watching this guy like mentally degrade in front of our eyes meanwhile fucking uh, uh you know all the corporate corporate criminals and the war criminals get to do all their bullshit repeatedly like they just keep keep doing their their war crimes keep committing corporate fraud uh keep fucking over the middle class uh in various different ways and and they don't they don't really go to prison right like america didn't have any fucking bankers go to prison um uh, and and let's say that he would stand trial, and we're witnessing it now. It's not going to be a fair trial. Edward Snowden basically said that, right? Ed Snowden was like, "Sure, I will, I will come in, but you can't. It has to be in front of a jury of my peers, and you can't just be like, well, this is all the shit that you did, and uh, you're awful. You're in prison now, right? Like, it has to be a trial where he gets to explain." what he did and why he did it because it was for the greater good and and I do think that what Snowden did was for the greater good right like he revealed that the fourth amendment was basically being violated by one of the larger intelligence community agencies and uh and that he was basically chastised for it when he went through the proper channels to do it and then got his passport revoked um and got stuck in Russia so like it's not going to be fair like they don't play fair with these people because they want to protect these these fucking elitist criminals so i think andrew is not um he's a he's a little i don't know i i don't want to use the word ignorant because i don't think that word is accurate i i will say he's wrong i do think that he's wrong about um what he's saying about julian assange and edward snowden um you know, and he goes on to say that he didn't reveal anything useful, and then he put the country in danger. And it was like that fucking never happened, though. Nothing that Julian Assange revealed like compromised national safety. Like we aren't in danger because of the shit that Julian Assange revealed, uh, or Edward Snowden, or Chelsea Manning, um, or Reality Winner, or. Daniel Everett Hale, like, none of these whistleblowers have compromised American safety. What they've done is they've revealed the, the, the crimes of the elites that have been compromising our safety. They revealed how these assholes are compromising our safety and, and our, our national security, right? By committing all these crimes and thinking that they can get away with it, thinking that they're above the law. Um, which is why it's so weird like the Democrats won't get behind whistleblowers, uh, like real whistleblowers, uh, like the ones I just mentioned, because it's like, aren't you like trying to impeach a dude that you're like, oh, he can, 
and nobody's above the law, including the president. And then you have these whistleblowers that are like, yes, nobody's above the law. Here are a bunch of elitist corporate criminals. And they're like, that is, you are compromising. It's like, you're very selective on on who you think should and shouldn't be above the law. Which, which doesn't make any fucking sense. But, you know, he said that he didn't, Julian Assange didn't reveal anything useful, which is false. He revealed a lot of useful information. Uh, WikiLeaks has put out, Wiki, first of all, WikiLeaks has never had to retract a story because all the shit that they've revealed is 100% accurate. So, there's that. And second of all, uh, I think it's very useful to know that the American military was killing civilians in Afghanistan and then circled back to kill uh, journalists and, you know, uh, medics and shit like that and were laughing about it. I think that's very useful information to know what, are, what, what the American military is doing in that country. Um, that's not bringing anybody freedom. Unless you're saying that freedom is bullets from a fucking helicopter, which is a real weird definition of freedom. <laughs> uh, he revealed the, the, the Barclay credit card fraud, the DNC leaks basically revealed that, that Hillary Clinton and the DNC were uh, basically rigging the election against Bernie Sanders, who was the candidate that pretty much most of us wanted. Uh, and Bernie was robbed of the election, and he would have beat Trump. So he revealed a lot of important information. A lot of what he said was was useful. So again, I, I think that Andrew Yang, unfortunately, is completely off base in his statements. Um, and it's weird because I'm like, you're an intelligent dude. Like, why are you? Like, it doesn't make sense as to why you're making statements like this. Um, and, and, the, and they're very, like, establishment talking points as well. Uh, and he's he is far from the establishment candidate, you know. Like I said, he didn't, he didn't put anybody in danger. There was, never, there was never a point where Assange put anybody in danger. Uh, if, if anything, like, he revealed the fact that these corporate elitists were we're putting their interests in front of the interests of the people and we're willing to fuck us over and they were the ones putting us in danger. That's really what was revealed. So, you know, and, and we when we do have a candidate that said the exact opposite of what Andrew Yang is saying, and that's Tulsi Gabbard. Gabbard basically has, uh, I, I think, I believe, I believe numerous times. Oh man, sorry, these roads are fucking not great right now. Okay. Uh, sorry for the camera getting all janked up. Uh, but Gabbard has come out and made a statement saying, hey, I will pardon all of the whistleblowers. Edward Snowden, pardoned. Julian Assange, pardoned. Danny Dever Hale, pardoned. Chelsea Manning, pardoned. And that's what it should be. You should be pardoning these people because they are American heroes. Uh, so, you know, I, I, it, it's, it is very strange to kind of see uh, an anti-establishment candidate like Andrew Yang um, take this very establishment talking point. And Yang has moved up in the polls, right? Like, he has moved up in the polls. Uh, he, I, I think one of the reports said that he was about to beat Mayor Pete, uh, Mayor 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 neoliberal, as as I like to as I like to politely call him, uh, is he's he's taking over, and maybe that's why he's trying to snag some of those Mayor Pete people. So if he makes some more kind of establishment toe the line uh, talking points, maybe he'll grab some more numbers. May, I don't know, but it's very strange, and it's you know very kind of off putting in in that regard of. Why, why would you come out and make statements like this that don't really make any sense for someone of, of your caliber, uh, of someone in your current position 
um, and someone that's as anti-establishment that brings these fringe ideas. Like I said, I like the fact that he's bringing up UBI and these alternative economic strategies that, you know, really no one has fucking talked about for years and years. It's been a totally ignored thing for a long time. Like, people won't talk about AI. People will continue to scapegoat immigrants, and they'll ignore the fact that tech is going to come through and replace a bunch of jobs. So I like the fact that he's bringing that up. What I don't like is him demonizing Julian Assange for no fucking reason. If anything, the fact that he might have gained some poll numbers and now is, you know, trying to toe the line of the establishment to gain a couple more uh, a couple more points in the polls. Maybe, I don't know. But I mean, you kind of saw that with Elizabeth Warren when she started moving up the uh, up the ladder. She basically came out and said that she wasn't, you know, oh, her Medicare for All plan is, is different now, all of a sudden. And it's very similar to Mayor Pete's Medicare for All the Want It plan. And so it's like you, these these sort of candidates that seem to be moving up the polls all of a sudden start taking these establishment talking points uh, and and maybe maybe Yang be- does genuinely believe it but it's just it's very it's very strange uh, to hear it from him so hey folks thank you so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like a thumbs up Uh, Please share it around because content like this doesn't really get shared around all that often because of the topics that I'm talking about. Uh, And if you enjoyed these videos, you'll probably enjoy my live stand-up comedy as well. Uh, I talk a lot about the similar topics, similar stories, um, address a lot of issues and philosophy in my stand-up. So I'm going to be on tour all across the country this year uh, working uh, on on my new show. Uh, So if you are in New York City... Uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Boston, Massachusetts, Portland, Maine, Burlington, Vermont, Middlebury, Vermont, uh, Bridgewater, Vermont. I'm going to be coming to your city in the next few weeks. You can go to my website, ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N, noodlescomedy.com. Grab your tickets, RSVP to these events, and come hang out with me. Uh, While you're on my website, you can also become a patron to help content like this uh, and become a a, a, pretty much a people sponsor of the show. Uh, Go to patreon.com slash krishmohanhaha to check out all the tiers and the rewards and uh, all the fun stuff that you'd be supporting. Uh, And my website's going to be updated soon to include a bunch of uh, alternative sustaining membership options as well. But again, if you want to come see me live, you can check out all of my tour dates because I'll be touring all across the country this year uh, at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. Thanks so much for checking out this video, and we'll see you on the road.